yo crawl here what's up guys i'm back with another video and you guys know it because i said it i don't want to have this fucking token those f-bombs i'm sorry i don't want to have this damn token right here so what are we going to do this episode well we're going to remove that token and we're just going to delete it off the surface and what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with a placeholder which is going to be a variable we're going to import from another file which is going to be our config.js file i don't want to use a json file because everyone uses a json file i need to be a bit different and i want it to be a bit more efficient and i want to use other constants in that file and yeah we're going to look at that today so we're just going to put a token in there spell out like that all uppercase because all constants should always be uppercase and how are we going to do that well First of all, what I always do is I create a new file and call it config.js. And we are already set. What we need to do is we need to module exports equals and we're done. We can put any value in there and it will correct the export. What I like to do though is I like to do it a bit differently. I just do exports dot you can do it anywhere right you can just put it in there too it doesn't really matter but i'm just going to do like exports dot token equals string of token and after we did that which all we need to do is we need to require this file in here so we do const um we're going to destructure this so we're just going to grab the token out of it because we don't need anything else for now you can also do const.config but what you need to do then is you need to do config.token and I don't really like that right it's, it's uh, not used not, not needed and then we require actually we don't need to go too big we need to go one and we require our JS file right here and we're done we're done this is this is how we do stuff and all we need to do now is practically you might go execute it and it's gonna be ready it's up and running we have our uh, constants file which is uh, our config.js file right here we can we can do any kinds of stuff in here we could also go uh export a second thing which is going to be like uh export i can't i hate it this is uh, great I don't mistype it as export because export is something different right export is uh javascript stuff we don't really well, we cannot really use in node yet i'm not sure if we're ever going to use it but don't mistype it it's exports or module.exports with the whole object so the next thing it's going to do is we're going to do a prefix right because we want to have our bot running on a prefix so we're going to do we're not going to use that um what, what i like to do is i always like to take the letter and then a symbol so the letter would probably be y for your maker and an exclamation mark right so this is this is our prefix so every time we want to trigger our bot we want to type like y ping or y exclamation mark ping we obviously need to import that because this is not here yet so all we have to do is basically do it like that and it's done so we obviously also need to change this here i'm probably still going to use start with for quite a while still because i don't i don't really do any like, argument stuff behind it so what we need to do here is we could go the old and easy way and do like prefix plus ping but this will error on me because my ESLint file says I want to prefer template because unexpected string concatenation, which means that this is not preferred compared. We might want to use stuff called this, which is two backticks, which are called template literals. And I can do like a dollar sign and then open the braces and put in prefix right there. And if I have that, it basically executes the variable in there and concatenates. Uh, con oh my god, concatenates it with anything that's afterwards. So I can do ping. So now I don't have any plus sign in there and it will still show up as Y ping. So it will only react to this specific thing because this because this is what that is basically doing. So we put that there, restart our bot, go into our lovely Discord 
and execute it with like Y ping. Boom, and we are done. There's one thing I need to mention. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do that in the next video because I need to go over it anyway. But this is how we're gonna do exports and this is how we're gonna do a different config file where we save our new values in because we don't want to have that in the main file because we're going to use git later on push our stuff to github and we don't want to have our token on github we don't want to have our pre well that doesn't matter but we don't want to have our token on github like this is very important because if anyone has a token they have your bot so if your bot is on 500 servers they have those 500 servers and can do whatever the fuck they want with it i'm sorry whatever they want with it so they could ban everyone if you have to ban permissions or anything you could imagine if you have an eval command for example they could eval stuff that could destroy your server or your pc depending on where you run it if they know what you do if they know what they're doing but this is for an open eval right this is something different i guess well point being you don't want to have your token out there anywhere because no one's going to trust you anymore if you leak it and this is how you do a config file see you in the next video guys